Did I sing the wrong melody? Did you play our love off key? Was it predictably a slightly different harmony that changed? Simply turn away from the needs of my passionate man. Was he lost before he began? Was there no one to understand my sensitive, passionate love? We touched the man. My sister thanks you. Yeah. The babysitter thanks you. Three bucks an hour, she ought to thank you. Hey, 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 you Good could night. invite us in for a drink. We could. We won't. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night, Jeff. We'll just watch you walk in. We just want to make sure you don't get mugged. We will not get mugged. I promise you. She promises you. We'll Good night. Just watch you walk. All right. Thank And then I went in search of the giggling freshman whose dishes I dutifully washed, and I found it. You know what he did? He memorized the entire poem just to impress me. And I hate Rupert Brooke, but I have remembered it, and I will now recite. Now, these things I have loved, white plates and cups clean gleaming. Identify with those lines. I've washed all the damn cups. <laughs> uh, if you want to further recitation, said Michael Delaney, follow me. <laughs> Let's see, where was I? Leaving <laughs> cups and. Oh, yes, ringed with blue lines and feathery fairy dust. Wet roofs underneath the lamplight. The strong. And strong. Crust, crust of friendly bread with many tasty food. Rainbows, Rainbows and blue bitter smoke, smoke of wood. Oh, stop it, you two. Has anybody told you that there is no love over 40? Mm. Only death and taxes. <laughs> the great lover. Oh, Michael! No, that's the name of the poem. He's a great dishwasher. <laughs> 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 but Michael, did you really take such a grungy job? Yeah, I did, Will. I know how it was. The old man was too tight, huh, Michael? No, too dead. 
Uh, uh, I'll get more ice. Huh? Oh, hey, well, I, I almost forgot. More congratulations. What? Well, now that the uh, hush-hush secrecy is over, we have the fruits of the labor of your think tank operation. You know, you should be very proud of that fireproof insulation you've developed. It was a group effort. Hey, would somebody translate that into English? Well, uh, Michael's egghead uh, group of physicists, while uh, working on the space program, came up with an incredible aid to home safety. That's very impressive. Uh, I think I better go impress my wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, how beautiful. All crystal with a crystal fifteen. Oh, it is so delicate. I thank you. <laughs> thank you, all of you. Oh, look what Michael gave me. <laughs> oh, my. Michael. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <clears throat> I thought you were told to go to bed. How come I'm not in any of those pictures? Uh, ask your daddy. Yeah, how come? How's your mommy? Oh, because, uh, because you hadn't happened yet. But you were on our mind. Scoot, get up there. Admire your patience with that, Pat. Anything to stop smoking. Maybe I should get Jack to take it up. He might be better at it. Maybe they should both take up needle. <laughs> oh, can't you see that? But don't laugh. A lot of macho athletes are taking it up. Did you know I had an uncle in Bangor who weaves the most magnificent rugs? <laughs> we call him our 90-year-old hooker. Oh, Pat. <laughs> Mommy, when do I get my lesson? Oh, your daddy's almost finished, sweetheart. Why don't you sit down and wait? It won't be long. Good point, Michael. I love you, Jack, even if you lose. 40 love again. Come on, Michael, it's set point. Get it over with. I will deal with you later. Come on, Delaney. Trouble is, Michael, now that Lockheed blew its cover, your whole industry is suspect. Uh, you by association lawyer, you should know better than that. What makes your precious Hollowell aerodynamics different? I mean, you know, don't kid yourself. They're all in the prize. Don't you more vodka, please? Well, I'll see if they're going to sell flames. Right, right, right. We lost the contract, so that proves we are clean. Besides, I am not in sales. Hey, Michael. No? What do you do over there these days now that there's no more space program? I play chess with the computer. <laughs> Move your drinks to Shea Delaney. Every 
everybody. Good. How are you? Well, I guess this weekend's over. When is not my party? When is not yours? I don't know how your science whiz does it, but I gotta be in court at 8.30 in the morning. Yeah. Healthy living and clean thinking. And clean thinking. Hey, watch him, Michael. Watch him. Hey, hey, I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> sure, Good night, sure. I'm Good night. sorry. Good night, Marjorie. Hey, I'm sorry. The night is young. You are so beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. To be Good continued night. next week. Good night, Dory. Uh, Good night. Thanks uh, Good night. for coming Good night. by. Why does the party always have to be at our house? You want to rattle? No. I let you in. You just going to lie there all night? Not alone. Not alone. <laughs> <laughs> I have been so great a lover. Filled my days so proudly with the splendor of love's praise. The pain and the calm. The astonishment. Is everything all right with us? I have all my own. The arrow of space. It is saved by Michael Delaney. Nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> Nuts and bolts! <laughs> <laughs> Where a man works, he learns to cut throats. I love you, Michael. You are all I need. I don't even need this house. This house and all the things that go with it. Sometimes I think we went in too deep. We know we built a pool. We haven't no. even finished doing the. Yeah, I doing the worked living room. for everything in this house. Things are not important to me. You are important to me, not things. But <laughs> there's a but, isn't there? <laughs> no buts. I guess I just. I just miss the easy life we had once. <laughs> Whatever you want, I want. I want you. your daddy says, if at first you don't succeed, even with your fingers. Hi, Dad. Hello, group. Hi, Dad. Eat. Daddy's right. Eat. Rough day? How can you tell? By the thud, thud, thud of your briefcase. Reward time. Daddy, did you bring it home? Did I bring what home? You know. Are you teasing, Daddy? Teasing about what? I bet he hit it. Is it here? No, you're cold. Am I warm? No, you're cold. He's tepid. What's tepid? Look it up in the dictionary. It rhymes with oven. It's in the oven.
That is a top secret design of your daddy's work. Really top secret? Well, now that the government's making him, I guess that secret can be shared with members of the immediate family, if they can be trusted. I can be trusted, honest. Are your rooms together? Sort of. Sort of? Yeah. Out. Mm -hmm. Out. Sleepy. Out. You know, this is mommy and daddy's private time. Huh? Aren't you gonna count? Come on, daddy. Please come for me. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I love you. One. Because you're a genius. Hmm? Such patience and skill at getting those boys to do precisely what you want them to do. Thank you. And how come when I count, I get nothing? Because you don't count backwards. For instance, mm -hmm. seven, six, five. Mike, mm -hmm. the stew is well, ready. Well, that it's still. <laughs> we gotta eat. You love me. You are loved. Am I? Am I loved? I like this bird. You're fragile and delicate and... Yes, I am like glass. Easily broken. Not easily broken. Just that you must be gently handled. Gently handled and just love me. Any more juice? Here, finish that one. Ooh, this orange juice tastes weird. Really weird. That's Daddy's glass. What's in your juice, Dad? Your Daddy made a mistake. Yes, son, I made a mistake. I should have put the vodka in the cereal. Instead, I put the vodka in the orange juice, and then we'll put the orange juice in the vodka in the cereal. And see if the cereal will speak. Michael. Snap, crackle, and hiccup. <laughs> Dad, I got a problem. Could you help me, please? What's your problem, sir? Well, it's my math homework. I couldn't finish it. How long before you have to go to school? About 15 minutes. Yeah, let's get to it. Finish your cereal.
Cindy. Mrs. Delaney. I came by to surprise my husband and take him to lunch, but <laughs> seems the surprise is on me. Uh, they didn't tell me they moved his office. Where is he? He was fired. Two weeks ago. He made me promise not to tell you. He said if if you called, I was always to say he was out or at a meeting. I didn't want to do it. I'm not good at lying. I know he always said you were loyal. You did the right thing. He said he'd tell you when he found the right moment. Please don't tell him I told you. I won't. I'm so sorry. I really loved working for him. He's so terrific. He made me laugh all the time. Well, don't talk about him in the past tense. He's not dead, you know. Thank you, so much. Goodbye, Mrs. Delaney. the boys? Under control. No countdowns? Just one. about a big fee. Fees? Fees? Let me hear about fees, lawyers. I want to hear about me. What kind of fee, lawyer? Uh, Michael, I, it's, uh, it's oh, late. Whatever. I think it's about time to oh, take it. Hold it! Just hold it a minute. You know, what do you say to all those poor suckers that come into you and say, Look, Mike. Hey, hold it! Mr. Lawyer. Mr. Lawyer, save me. Michael, will you knock it off? Come on, will you? Look. Look. It's getting with the Let's go. Come on. What, you have to get up in the morning? You have to go to work? Michael. No, do you have to go to work? Well, Mr. Delaney goes to work. Mrs. Delaney doesn't go to work, does Mrs. Delaney? No, Mr. Delaney paid for the house. Mr. Delaney paid for the pool. Yes, sir. Mr. Delaney paid for all that, didn't Mr. Yes. Delaney? Yes, Michael. Yes, Michael. Yes, Michael. So say it again. Yes, yes! Drake, Mrs. Delaney.
smoking some orange juice? No. Not an image. Promise. I uh, gave the boys breakfast, sent them off to school. The kitchen is very neat and very clean. I sent you a blouse and uh, slacks to the cleaner. He came by earlier. And... That blouse and uh, that slacks were in terrible shape. Uh, he must have had a hell of a time last night. Who was he? You don't remember, do you? Not really. But unfortunately, uh, Pat Morris called this morning and filled me in on the details. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. I know you are. Well, to show you how sorry I am, I'll take the day off and we'll go to the beach. Michael. I'm a lousy liar. Well, they fired me, Marge. They dumped me. Let me go. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to hurt you. I'm just trying to protect you. Every day I left you, I thought I'd come home and be able to say, hey, kid, there's good news and bad news, the good news. Yeah, but why? You're too good. It couldn't have been your work. Not my work. It's any work. They fired the entire research unit. Now Hollowall is into the exclusive selling of uh, farm machinery. I don't understand. I just don't understand. Well, I'm relieved. You know what it's like going to work every day for two years? Nothing to do. You know, we used to just sit around and think of hypothetical problems for the, for the computer to solve. Keep from going crazy. The handwriting was on the wall. That doesn't matter. I love you. Don't ever do that again. No more secrets. No more secrets. A toast. To honesty. Here's to you as good as you are. Here's to me as bad as I am. But as good as you are and as bad as I am, I'm as good as you are. That's an old Irish saying. more minutes, okay? Did you pack the potatoes, Mom? And the coleslaw. Yeah. Uh, what do we need all that junk for? We can get hot dogs at the zoo. You can also get tomain poisoning. Yeah, I like picnics. So do I. How come Daddy can take day off of work? Special holiday for him, too? Now, why would your Daddy want to go to work when he can take his two favorite fellas to the zoo? Yeah, I'm gonna wake him up. No, I'll do it. You pack the car. I don't want any coleslaw. Pack the car. Michael, aren't you up yet? Go away. It's past 11. The kids are waiting. Come on. Go away. Get up, Michael. Go away. We promised the kids the zoo. Now, come on. Get up. I'm not going to any zoo. Now, get up!
you're a terrific father. He's not going, is he? No, he's not. I knew it! I just knew it! Yeah. speaking in behalf of John Q. Public, who's getting sick and tired of listening to the would-be doomsayers about the downfall of the world's greatest... Go on. America is as great, if not greater, than it has always been. What's so great about it? Who, apart from the spoiled America... Get off my shed. Sit on your own ass, sheds, buddy. The opportunities of our country um. are just lying in wait for those... Ah! Ah! guts to meet the challenge. When has there ever been so keen an interest on the part of the government to create new jobs and programs for the betterment of the people? Where else on earth can a man or woman reach for the stars and come back with a piece of the moon? We must carry on and pass down to our children the essence of our American dream, so that this dream does not become the nightmare uh, of the children. Children. Uh, children. Uh, children. Uh, children. I went out for a while. I brought you some flowers. Flowers in May, Lanita. Michael. Mm. We can't go on like this. We're eating up all our savings. Well, we have my stocks. And we have my trustees, baby. So what are you worried about? I look for a job in weeks. Why, Michael? Oh, they ain't gonna jump the first thing, and everything's below my level. Then take something lower. Can't you take something lower? I worked for the Ph.D. after my name. No doctor is going to take no funky job. Well, I'm not that particular. I'm going to get a job. It's the women's liberation. It isn't that. We need the money. Besides, I'll get out of your way. Maybe that'll clear the air a little bit. They are dying for literature majors out there. I am not stupid, Michael. I can find something. No wife of mine is going to work. And nor, obviously, is any husband of mine. Oh! Good job, Marty. It's 
my life. My life. There'll be... There'll be other space contracts. Next decade, next century. The people are tired of watching space yards. You can see it on television. You can find something new. Just like that. Yes, Just yes. Like yes. That. Men are changing careers all the time. You can too. You might go to college for seven years and become a lawyer. <laughs> oh, Michael, you're so good at so at so many things. on location in Tucson, Arizona for two months, and Mrs. Brown regrets that he will have to cancel his career day appearance at the concert. Oh, that's too bad. Find me another actor, quick. <laughs> Try Robert Redford. I'd love to. <laughs> Poor Pat, always volunteering every year for career day. Didn't your mommy ever teach you to say no? Excuse me. Yes, it's my mother's fault. <laughs> How's Michael doing in real estate school? Oh, well, it's only been two weeks, but... Uh, He's doing fine. Knowing Michael, I'm sure he's running the class. He's something, isn't he? I have an idea. Wouldn't Dan be delighted to see Michael standing in front of his class? You mean Michael give the career day speech? One scientist daddy coming up. He knows more about it than anybody. Well, I could ask him. <laughs> he might. Michael? He isn't here. What happened? Class break up early? What class? Suppose you tell me. Well, if it's Tuesday, then it must be escrows. And escrows are boring. Enough to drive a man to drink? Real estate ain't my bag, lady. I went to two sessions, and my PhD began to show. The people depressed me, the professors depressed me, and you are beginning to depress me. Michael, what are you trying to tell me? I'm trying to tell you that the teacher picked on me, so I quit. Where have you been these nights? Wouldn't you like to know? Why in God's name are you doing this? My... Michael, when are you going to face what you're doing to yourself? You saw what happened to your mother. She died a drunk. She made your life miserable. And now you're making our lives miserable because you're just like she was, a selfish, weak, drunk. Don't you ever. Mommy? Hey, kid. <laughs> Mommy and I are just fooling around, right? Hmm? You're just fooling around. <laughs> Come on, Dad will uh, tell you bedtime story. So when the uh, prince found out that he said to all those crazy people and all those people with long beards and dirty clothes, you're not going to take my kingdom away because nobody takes my kingdom away. Hooray, prince! Uh, hooray, prince. And so then he went and he got a uh, gun. And he got a, a cannon, and so he killed everybody. Everybody? Everybody, just like that. And then he walked 
on their dead bodies. And he made a speech. He said, he said, uh, nobody uh, takes my kingdom away and nobody uh, does that to me because I have worked all my life for what I thought was Right. I worked all my life for Uh, my husband is having uh, convulsions. I, I, I'm Mrs. Um, Mrs. Michael Delaney, 435 South Walnut. How soon can you be here? Damn it! I said this is an emergency. Thank you. Hurry. What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing. Carrie's scared. He's crying. Tell him to go back to bed. Your daddy's all right. Go tell him, honey. How is he? If this is the first time, it might scare him. He needs watching. Sedation, vitamins. Call your family doctor as soon as possible. He'll know how to handle the DTs. Thank you for getting here as soon as you did. I appreciate it very much. He's a, he's a very good person. He's worth helping. I'm sure he is. Good night. Michael Delaney, folks. And I'm not a joiner. Clubs are for the weak. That is why they call them anonymous. There is Gamblers Anonymous. There is Fat Anonymous. And child abuse, I don't think child abusers have a club. Let's see what else. Anonymous, anonymous. Yes, we have sewing circles. Yes, knitters anonymous. If you want a drink, they come over and sew up your bottle. <laughs> How about wives anonymous? You tie the one you got, you call the alcoholics, they send you another one. Hopefully. Why don't you sign me up for a knitting circle? Lay off, will you? Call it Knitters Anonymous. Feel like taking a drink, somebody comes over and knits with you. I am going out. What for? For your birthday party. Happy birthday, Dan. for the 
face to blow out this mess of candles. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. Yeah. You go get the ice cream. Okay. Hurry up. Birthday cakes are aboard. Happy 42nd, old buddy. And here's to number 43, Michael. Well, don't count on it. Old Daddy didn't make it to 43, so why should I? Out of respect for dear old Daddy. Please, Michael. It's only wine, sweetheart. Poor old Dada. He worked so hard and he was so earnest, but he was poor, poor, poor. Not for the lack of trying. It wasn't the money. It was my mother's drinking problem that brought about the untimely death of dear old daddy. Or was it his death that brought on mommy's drinking problem? I never did get it right. Uh, Ann, you want to cut the cake? Oh. How did your game go today, Mommy? I, uh, I got here too late to play. Your daddy's not feeling very well. When's he gonna be better? Is he still coming to my school tomorrow? He's coming. I've got it all set up. You and I are gonna be there to root for him. You sure he won't be sick tomorrow? I don't think so, do you? Well, I guess not. Alcoholism is a progressive disease which, if not treated, drives its victims into an abyss of either insanity or death. The family must adopt a sympathetic, constructive attitude. It's almost 10. They want to start on time. Let's go. Uh, constructive, sympathetic attitude, that is the key. It will pay off dividends for alcoholics respond gratefully to warmth. Understand. You ready? Huh. You look a little tired. Come on. Marjorie, Michael, thank goodness you're here. Dan was upset that you missed the preliminary. Sorry, Pat, we were uh, held up. We're in room 207. Where's the men's room? Men's room. Um, it's down the hall that way. In 207. our entire lives trying to make our profession obsolete. I mean, the more advanced and definitive our research, the fewer cavities and the fewer the dentists. But uh, setting aside this Michael, paradox, all of your children, I'm uh, sure, are aware of the, the importance of dental hygiene. I mean, you couldn't hope to make a career as a dentist and be careless about your own health. The profession of dentistry is a dignified and a worthwhile career. I thank you. Michael! Children, our aircraft specialist is going to be just a little bit late. Perhaps he had some engine trouble. So why don't we just skip ahead? Um, I have some posters I'd like to show you. Oh, here he is. And now, children, Dan Delaney's father, Mr. Michael Delaney. Everything you ever wanted to know about the aerospace industry, and Mr. Delaney does know everything. Now, these are, uh, well, they used to be, uh, rockets. Uh, you put a fire under there and they go up. <laughs> the, uh, speech. What I know about the aerospace industry by Michael Delaney. <laughs> the aerospace agency is uh, composed of uh, people who uh, 
my uh, rockets. And you uh, go to school for about a hundred years, <laughs> give or take a year. Two. Then you uh, marry the boss's daughter. <laughs> you meet uh, an influential friend. And that's what I know about the Aerospace Agency. So I thank you for your time. And now. Everybody go out and steal hubcaps or whatever you do. I hate you! I hate you! That's my son. He hates me. And, uh, and there goes my wife, who ain't too fond of me either. And, uh, here go I. That one of my best speeches. about anything. It's okay, Mom. You don't have to explain. Well, sweetheart, I want you to know that he... I know, Mom. I just don't want you to... Uh, I don't uh, hate him, Mom. I... Not really. Well, as you get older, Dan, you'll, uh, you'll um, understand that Mom, sometimes you just... I don't hate him. But I don't like him either. I don't like the things he does. What he did today was awful. But I don't hate him. <sighs> Mom? Yes? What are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't know. Who are these people? They're friends of mine. Want a sandwich? Haven't you done enough for one day? I haven't made sandwiches for my friends. Maybe you would like to go out by yourself, but I like them. Uh, the boys asleep? Huh? Where are the children? What do they look like? Oh. They are at the Morrissey. Get these people, whoever they are, out of here. Hey, who, who's she, old buddy? Who are you? Uh, I'm Lou. Oh, you're Lou. <laughs> this is Marjoram. Hey, Sophie. Sophie, this is Marjoram. Butter. <laughs> Marjoram. Sweetheart, where's Pat? 
They went to the movies. They told Dad and Johnny to babysit. Wait, is Dan asleep? No. What's the matter, Carrie? I wet the bed. Well, that's okay. A guy has to sleep once in a while. Where's Dan? It's in the kitchen. I'll be right up. Reward time. Dan! What are you boys doing? Go upstairs, Dan. Johnny, go to bed. I can't tell you how sorry I am. It scares me seeing them imitating us like that. Marjorie, they're not imitating us. Johnny would never have done that. He was just going along with Dan. I, uh, I hate to ask this, but uh, Michael has some, uh, I mean, would it be all right if I stayed the night, too? Of course you can sure, stay. Sure. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I'm terribly sorry. Marge, you need help. Legal help. Legal help? Yeah. Perhaps I could... Jack, you can't handle this. We're friends. We're too involved in it. Wait a minute, Pat. Marjorie, why don't you talk about it? It'll make you feel better. Why don't we all sit down and talk about this? Pat, as long as I'm going to be seeing a lawyer, I'll save the tedious details for him. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go take care of my boys. Be a good girl, Mrs. Delaney. Cool. Take the kids. Leave town for a while. As soon as my process server bags them, you're in business. I'll serve him with a restraining order. Immediate court action? That's when we hit him with the financial terms. It all sounds so cold. Well, relax, Mrs. Delaney. You'll get your legal separation. We'll really go to work on this bum. He's not a bum. He's an alcoholic. And another thing. This isn't legal aid. My fee is $500. I don't move without a retainer. I don't think I like you, Mr. DeMora. But I guess you're all I can afford. Well, you don't have to like me. Just hope I get the job done. I've endorsed this household check from Michael. He sold the last of our stocks. I'll send you the rest as soon as I... Find a job. Well, good luck. And remember, get out of town fast. Hey, hold it, hold it. Where are you going? Get in the car, boy. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Let go. Come on, where are you going? Don't you. Nobody's leaving. Run. No. Run. 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 We're just going for a couple of days. No, no, just so you get yourself straight. No, give me it. Give me my purse, you kid. Give it to me. Don't. Don't you dare. Oh, what's best? Margie. Margie. Stop fooling with that thing. It's broken. You'll only let in more hot air. I'm boiling. Well, that makes two of us. Carrie, put your seatbelt back on. Daddy's going to miss us. Yeah, he's probably too drunk to care. Dan. Now, your daddy is a very sick man. He doesn't mean to do the things he does. You've got to understand that, do you? He wasn't like that before. No, he wasn't. He's very sick. But why don't we stay home and take care of him? Because, because we need to let him have some time alone. I am not doing this to punish him. But who's going to take care of him? Well, your daddy's a big boy. He'll, he'll take care of himself. And how do you know you can find a job? You've never worked before. Who, me? Talented Tilly? <laughs> yeah. Well, I raised you fellas. That makes me a genius. Read some more of those ads. Mm. Hey, this one sounds like you. Wanted, girl. A1 personality, good legs, no nudity. <laughs> Learn latest dance steps. Who thinks I'm a great dancer? Not me. Not me. You got good legs, though. 
I brainwashed you pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, that uh, transmission shot. Now, I can uh, fix it for you for about 300. 300? Uh, we're high, but we're here. Well, I don't have $300. That's your problem, lady. Yeah, I know. Can I leave it here a couple days to see if I can come up with it? Sure. You better put a for sale sign on it in case I don't. You got it. Uh, oh, boys, will you get our stuff out of the car? Well, lady, you uh, need a place to stay? Without a car, I sure do. You go on up the road, the Embassy Motor Courts. Clean, low rates. The Embassy? And uh, tell them Roy Jessup sent you. They'll give you a real low rate. Roy. I'll see you around, honey. You've got my keys. Come on. Here we go. Might as well unpack. Haven't you served him yet? He's fast on his feet. He's been on a real toot since you left, Mrs. Delaney. Smashed a couple of windows. I hear your front yard looks like the city dump. You got a real PR job to do on your neighbors when this is over. Then find him. That's your job, Mr. DeMora. Not anymore, lady. That check you endorsed from your husband, it bounced. Wait, I'll get you the money. Hey. What are you doing home so early? I quit. They were pinching instead of tipping. What are you doing up so late? Uh-huh. I bet you were watching television, right? You haven't even taken your bath. Now get going. And I'm going to check your homework. Two points for the desert. The shirts dry fast. I'm going to look at your multiplication. Home to my dad by Dan Delaney. I think we're losing you, and there's nothing I can do. Don't you care anymore? Can't you be my father anymore? I'm scared of all the stuff that you drink and the strange way you talk and think. You make my mom sad and cry. I think she's afraid you're gonna die. Please don't leave us lonely and sad. I don't want to hide from you, Dad. How you doing? Hi. Hey, I'm right next door. I thought you might want to come on over and have a drink with me. I got enough right here, thanks. Oh, come on. My kids don't like late parties, sorry. Oh, actually, I was thinking just you and me. You want me to call the manager? Sure. I'm the manager. Oh. I'll see you around. He busted the man's jaw. End of story, Mrs. Delaney. You're nowhere. That money you sent goes to pay for the hospital bill. 
please, you've got to try again. I can't stay away much longer. Sue me. Get me more money and forget it. Where are you? And the boys are with you? Just hold on, Jack is here. It's Marjorie, she needs money from us. Hello, Marjorie. It's not for me, Jack. It's the lawyer. He won't move, he's sitting on his hands. I thought maybe you could help me. Marjorie, as a friend, I'm naturally concerned about you and the boys. You know that. But I can't mix in. Michael is violent. He was here last night. He threatened me, insisted I knew where you were. I had to call the police. It's a mess. Look, it's not the money you try to understand. I have my family to protect. Thank you, Jack. Do you hear me? Don't do this to me anymore. I want you to stop this. I... Are you listening? Margie. Michael. Stop. Stop. Please. I've stopped. I am not drunk. I haven't had a drink. Are you listening? Yes, I'm listening. I want to see a psychiatrist, a Dr. Lazaro. I want you to come home. I miss you so terribly, darling. I miss you. Me too. Take care of it. Now go back to sleep. Dad? What? I went to bed again. Come on, let's change the sheets before Mom gets back. Boys, we're going home. Mr. Delaney, would you excuse us for a few moments? I see your husband alone. There's something I'd like to say to you. I feel you were very brave in coming back to your husband, Mrs. Delaney. It's not your duty to stay with Michael. With two young children, it might even be terribly destructive. He's a desperately ill man. I can't force him to go to AA. I'll do my best to work with him. He'll have to be at least three times a week. I see. Is there anything I could be doing? I'll have to spend some time with him first before I can answer that. All right. All right. Mr. Delaney, will you come in now, please? How did it go? 
swimmingly. I'm so glad you like Dr. Lazarus. Yeah, he's a nice man with a tall order. Like a taste. It's delicious. It's wine flavored. You'll love it. I. Sir, do you like taste? Thank you. Nice to see you again, Pat. Happy New Year, Frank. Mr. Delaney, just a minute, please. Mr. Delaney? What is it, Frank? Mr. Delaney, just a minute. What do you want? I'm sorry, I can't let you use the course today. Hey, listen, I didn't make a reservation. It's all right. There ain't that many people out there. I'm sorry, those are my orders. Hey, you don't give orders. Me, Tarzan, you're a hired help, baby. Mr. Delaney, just a minute. Hey, Mr. Delaney, Mr. Delaney. Mr. Delaney. Mr. Delaney. Oh. I'm sorry, Mr. Delaney. Dad? Dad? Are you okay? Go away. Please go away. Hey, um... Hey, kid. Hey. Danny, Carrie, come here. I want to talk to you. Dad wants to talk to you. Come on. Put a towel on you, kids. Go. Come here, baby. Daddy is going to make a New Year's resolution. What's a resolution, Daddy? Uh, well, it means what your father is going to try to do. What your father is going to do in the new year. There will be no more of that funny orange. <laughs> <laughs> there will be, be no more uh, misunderstandings between Mommy and me. Because I love your mother, and she loves me. We love the both of you. So, there's going to be a happy new year for all of us, right? Okay? Okay, Daddy. Okay, Daddy. <laughs> okay. 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 At least we've got the bubbles. At least we have the bubbles. <laughs> I like it. You like what? Just the two of us. Me too. All right, I will spread the cheese. And you pop the cork on a brand new vintage bottle of ginger ale. I don't think there is any more. Michael Delaney to the rescue. Where are you going? Don't go away. That old Chuck every year, they 
bottle of cheap wine. Uh, I don't, I don't think it's only should. wine. It is only wine, darling. They serve it in church. It's not gonna hurt anyone. Wine. Keep up with you, but I'm gonna try. You're not making any sense. Dollars, my dear, not cents. I want that check from the club. They do not want me as a member, so they owe me a refund. They said they put it in the mail. Where is the check? Morning, boy. We made our own breakfast. Good for you. Daddy was here. He left. Dad, there was a check in here. He took it. I'm sorry, Mrs. Delaney. Perhaps I was remiss. I should have called you. Michael only showed up for two sessions. 
And he always said how well it was going. He even, he even said he was one of your best patients. Well, that's typical of Michael. See, he feels that he's more superior than the world thinks he is. Well, he's an extremely bright man. He's really gifted. The fact is, he feels terribly inadequate. Michael? Yes. And he's a perfectionist. That's an unbearable condition with no solution. Have I failed him? In Michael's head, the world has failed him. And he cannot tolerate an imperfect world. You must face a terrible truth, Mrs. Delaney. Michael wants to die. He will die. A smash-up, suicide, or if he's really unlucky later, from starvation. Now, this might sound cruel, but it must be said. First, his liver will cease to function. His nose will hemorrhage. The vessels of his stomach fill, explode. From what you've told me of his poor, tortured body, the process has already begun. I feel you should institutionalize him. There's nothing more you can do at home to help him. He's in a very bad way, Mrs. Delaney. I think you better come and get him. Yes, ma'am. I will. Mr. Ramirez? If your husband has property, legal aid can't be involved. I, I'm sorry. You'll have to convince him to sell the house. See that it's sold. Your lawyer will go after the money, I assure you. I can't wait. That takes months. I, I'm afraid for my children. I have to have legal protection. There are a lot of truly unfortunate people waiting to see me, Mrs. Delaney. I am sorry. That's the reality of the situation. I have no money. But your husband owns property. There's nothing I can do. Hey. <coughs> Raji. You really like it. Oh, don't forget your napkin. Too bad we're losing you, Margie. It's a real break for you. You really moved up fast. That's me, onwards and upwards, just like the food prices, Joe. Sergeant. Michael, be reasonable. At least listen to me. Oh, hospital. Let me in and let me talk to you about it. I'll talk to you. I'll talk about it in the hospital. I know a man who does this kind of job. I'll set it up. They'll come and get him. Isn't uh, tomorrow a little too soon? No, the sooner the better. All right. Only, uh, could you please have them come while the children are at school? Of course. Thank you. Where are you going?
You have to put that on him. He's out cold. This is procedure, ma'am. When they first come around, it can't be difficult. Will you be riding back with us? Uh, no, I'll not follow. Boys. Why don't you sit down for a minute? Before you go out and play, I want to talk to you. Oh, Mom, what's the matter? It's something very important you both should know. It's about Dad, isn't it? Yes, it's about your Daddy. Where is he? When a person drinks, he doesn't always drink because he wants to. Sometimes there's something bothering him, and he has to drink. Where do you go when you break your leg? You go to the doctor or the hospital. Yeah, you go to the hospital. Your daddy went to the hospital today. We're going to help him. So he doesn't get drunk anymore. Don't ever say that about your father. He has a problem, and he's trying to help himself. And while we're in this house, we will respect him. Now go on out and play. days. That's not enough time. Why did they release you? Good behavior. Not one visit from my faithful wife. I thought you'd be better off without me. Oh. I thought you'd get better faster. I was constantly in touch with the staff. You didn't get a package. Not a piece of cheese. You get that free. They never gave me the slightest idea they were letting you go. Gone, but not forgotten. I am on the honor system. I report to the Yoko locals once a week. Is that fair? No, it's inexcusable. They had no right. You're drinking already. They need the beds, and I prefer my bed here. You have to go back, Michael. It's too bad. I am forgotten back. here, but I'm not more... gone from. You need more time. I'll go with you. I'll Let's explain see. to the doctors. You have I'm to go staying back. here. I'm leaving here on Friday. Your conservator. Who's that? Me. Michael, I did what I had to do. You were incapable of making decisions. Dr. Lazaro testified to that in court. I had a lawyer such as he was. The house was sold at a good price. It's a seller's market. I went to real estate school and you became the authority. I put your share of the money in trust. Tough broad, Maggie. Tough broad, Maggie. I have to finish packing tonight. I don't want any trouble, Mike. I won't get any trouble.
push you to the next, Mrs. Delaney. <laughs> Mrs. Delaney! <laughs> You and me, baby. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on. Uh, I don't need this. Goodbye, slut, swindler, home stealer. Money. Yes. Mrs. Delaney, this is Rachel. I'm Michael's friend. Yes. He's in the hospital. He's dying. Can you come? The calm, the content. I love you. <gasps> An empty home. Those wasted years, the unrhymed poems of children's tears, all swept away by yesterday's of my sin. 
sensitive, passionate mind. Am I left standing alone in a place where no place is a home? Was it me that changed my sensitive, passionate mind? If it was, 